If you're a musician like me, then you know that preparing for a gig can be equal parts rewarding and equal parts chaotic. So today I'm gonna to show you how to use Asana to organize all your set lists, your charts, and your music so you can show up gig ready. Welcome to Asana Solutions. My name is Mark He, and you've landed on the number one channel on YouTube for all things related to Asana, process improvement, and project management. And you heard it right. If you're a musician, this video is for you. I grew up and spent a lot of time playing bass in the church over the years, and I play with different musicians and tour around, and with work and family, it's hard to keep everything organized and make sure that when it's time for a gig, I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna show you how I organize all my charts, my set lists, all my audio, um, my numbers, all inside of Asana. So if you do it a different way, I'd love to hear it, but I think this one uh, works really, really well. Let's jump in. So this is what it looks like. Name the project charts and set lists. And what I was doing prior to this was I had a bunch of Google files and docs and, you know, stuff over there. And I'm still using Google Drive to like store the media and then the links are set to it. So what I've done is at the top under my zero zero section, I have all my set lists. So whenever the date is, um, that's when I have the set list and you can see what it looks like. I use the Nashville number system. And so um, I have the different, you know, numbers here, you know, intro, verse, chorus, bridge, um, tag, you know, whatever it may be. And this is verse, chorus, bridge. So this is how I format it. This is how I rehearse my songs. And um, I have the different set lists based on day. So if I do need any media in it, if I have like a song I need to listen to, I'll sometimes put it in here. I'll have the chart here so I can, you know, put the numbers together. Um, but then I have all the songs listed out by by artist. So if it's a number like 10,000 reasons, it's going to be at the top and then it's alphabetical order from there. So that's how it's sorted. I have the song list. Um, this is the name of the song. This is the letter of the alphabet. And then in the artist custom field, I have all of the, the different custom fields. So it's a multi-select, so I can select who it is. And of course we can, we're doing this so we can filter and see what we have. And then um, any files, I just have it stored there. So I pretty much go all the way down here. If I have a song uh, or a, a set coming up or a gig coming up, um, or I'm, I'm called to you know um, play bass on my church, then I can just come in here these are all the songs we're playing anyways. It's it's rare that we get a new song. We might get, you know, one or two songs, you know, each quarter, let's say. And so then I can just add it here. But for the most part, I can just literally take this, copy it. I create my set list up at the top. So June 3rd, I don't know. And then I can start putting in my songs here. I change the key to whatever you happen to be playing it in, and then I'm done. I can just add in my other songs, and I get to practicing right there. Um, I'll just show you what the filter looks like quickly. If I do want to add something in, I want to go by artist, obviously. Um, and then it contains any of, let's see, let's see if you can figure out which song is going to pop up. Um, there we go. So let's do that. Apply. There we go. That's the one I was looking for, right? So it gives it, it has Brooke and it has Hillsong Worship. So whether it's on either side, there's a song we're looking for. It's real easy. So as this catalog grows, it's really easy to see exactly what's there. If you're putting together a set list and uh, the church has requested or the leadership has requested, you know, we only want to hear Hillsong or we only want to hear Bethel, um, you can easily just come in here and change up the filters. Let's do that. And then we can apply. These are all the Bethel songs. And then we have Jen Johnson who's leading, you know, God, I look to you um, and so on and so on. We can see Jeremy Riddle and, you know, all the other all the other people related to Bethel. So, yeah, just another fun way to use a song. If you found this helpful, share it with a friend. Um, but, yeah, hope you like it. If you have any questions, let me know. Talk to you soon.